Hey everyone, this is Luke again, and welcome back to yet another new jog of any on to the channel today. So today we're going to be discussing the end of Crystallize and how it symbolizes, at least in my personal opinion, much more than a lot of people tend to think. Now obviously, we don't. I don't really like to discuss this because it's not good at all. It really f screwed up everything, but there's one particular detail that... When I first thought of it, I didn't think much of it. But when I thought about it a bit more and more, it's like, this changes everything. And that is the use of Sally's song as the f the final tune for the Ninjago series. Or at least this version of Ninjago. Because a lot of people have criticized it for... Um, not using the Weekend Whip, the ending scene for Margioni, or even the Weekend Whip. And when I still think that's a deserved criticism, but here's the thing. I, I don't know if it, this is me being tinfoil hat conspiracy theorist Luke on the way, or if I'm just being, or if it, I don't know if it's me being crazy or if I'm ha I have something, but to me, the usage of this song and not some of the older songs symbolizes a changing of the guard. It symbolizes to me that LEGO simply does not care about its older fan base. It wants to move on from them. It wants to forget that they even exist in a way. Because the LEGO's priority is to garner new fans for the show. And that's the probably like the only thing they care about is new fans which is fans who were not introduced to Ninjago. I don't know why I'm thinking this way, but I feel like it has to do with how Lego has been handling the storylines and how it's handling Ninjago as a whole. It's like, it's not good. I mean, at first I thought it was a Cartoon Network issue when Le Lego Ninjago still aired on Cartoon Network, but it's now become... A Lego problem, you know, and I feel like this the usage of this particular song symbolizes that entirely. I may be j overthinking this, but I that's what I believe. I have a feeling that Lego is gonna try and prioritize kids because that's their demographic, but they're d gonna do it at the expense of the older fans. So it's like you ever hold a whole. You ever heard of that saying, separating the wheat from the chaff? That's basically what I'm saying here. They want to separate the new fans from the old fans. They're trying to divide it. They're trying to divide us, in a sense. They're encouraging division. And it's just, it's not good what they're doing. It's not good at all. And I hope that LEGO can fix this. But knowing their reputation as of late, I probably think they just don't give a shit. Um, I just feel that they don't understand how impactful or how grateful that Ninjago is still going on. If it wasn't for us OGs, they wouldn't be still making money off of it. They would have lost millions, potentially billions of dollars if it wasn't for OG fans for keeping this theme alive back then. You know what that saying? Another saying, we OGs crawled so the new fans could run. And we deserve more respect. I said this before in the video, but I feel like it needs to be stated again. We OG fans deserve the utmost respect because we created the Ninjago that we that you all know today. We created it. You wouldn't be here if it wasn't for us. You know, I don't want us to be seen as elders or too old for this because that's a stupid stereotype. That's a stereotype. And I hate that. We need to break this down. We need to show to Lego and not just Lego, but to any person who believes that an animation of any kind is, con is still considered a kid's medium. To anyone who says that, they could kiss my ass for all I care. Because it doesn't matter if you like kid shows or an adult show. 
or any type of show. It doesn't matter. The point is, is whether you like it or not. That's what matters. Not what it's made out of, but rather the material that is in it. And that includes the storyline, how it's written, and does it all, and basically that entire aspect of the storyline, blah, 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 blah. And just personally, if you enjoy it or not. I mean, there are some people out there that still love Sesame Street, um, even though Sesame Street has been around for like forever, basically. Um, probably because they were kids when they watched it. They even now have children, and they're watching Sesame Street with them. That's awesome. That's brilliant. I want Ninjago to be something similar, where I have kids. Someone else in, in the OGs has kids. They get to share the experience. And that's what makes this really heartbreaking, because I feel like LEGO is trying to prevent it from happening. Because... I don't know why. I don't know why they're trying to prevent... Maybe they are so into thinking new fans are going to propel Ninjago into the stratosphere, into the next stratosphere, when it's not. Um, and that's just... And that sucks. And that sucks. Um, because I think if we're treated with proper respect, Ninjago could be just as successful... Maybe even more so than Sesame Street. I mean, I don't know if it should last as long as Sesame Street, but, you know, I just wanted to have that impact, like, you know, some other kid shows had, where they're still beloved even, like, 20 years later, 50 years later, or something like that. And I feel like Lego is trying to prevent that by shredding all of our memories, trying to push us away, and trying to invade our memories with half-baked material to make us think it could say Ninjago was great until this happened. They're trying to sour our opinions of it. And I just don't like that. I absolutely don't like that. And I know this sounds very tinfoil hat conspiracy theorist, like I said earlier, but I feel like the starting point of that is the usage of Sally Song. Because if they use something like the Weekend Whip, that's at least acknowledging you know, us OGs. That's at least acknowledging that we exist. Whereas, with that song that they literally introduced 20 episodes earlier, it... I don't know. Part of me also believes this may even be the new theme song of Ninjago, which I doubt, considering the fold is just has that big of an impact. But it would surprise me in the slightest, considering LEGO has all their priorities up their rectum if they somehow can the fold in favor of Sally Song, you know? Because I'm not saying the Sally Song is a bad song. It's fine, but it should not be the theme song of Ninjago. I'm just saying, if this happens, if this happens, this is like my worst case scenario. This is like, and I feel like it's it's like watching a car ride right in front of you, but you just can't look away. That's what I feel like is happening with Ninjaga right now. It's it's self-destructing right before my eyes. Simply because Lego just doesn't know what to do with it. And it just makes me wonder, why even continue the series if you're just... If you don't know what to do with it. I mean, I'm pretty sure Tanner made a video about this. And I really wanted to make a video about this, but I guess this is that video. Um, where he said... Lego needs to have its priorities checked because it's like they put pretty much a lot of effort into the sets most of the time, but they don't, they put in the bare minimum for the show. And I just feel that it creates this sort of imbalance. And I absolutely agree with him. I know he's not the best, best, most well liked member of the community considering, you know, his past and whatnot, but I definitely agree with what he says. Um, and I just wish Lego would prioritize the show a lot more. It doesn't necessarily have to be the same as the sets, but you gotta realize that not everyone who likes Ninjago came from the sets. Yes, it is called Lego Ninjago. I understand that logic. But at the same time, not everyone has the interest in sets. I'm an example. I mean... I care about it because it's a show. It's a good show. I don't care about the sets. I mean, if you like the sets, 
you do you. I mean, I've seen so many pictures of people with their minifigures outside, doing these little murals, doing these little pictures. It's amazing. I wish I could do that, but I, but it's past my time. I, I just don't think I could get into the sets because I just feel like I'm too old. I feel like I am too old for the sets. And I don't know. I don't know where I'm going with this, but I just wish that Lego could see that we OG fans deserve way more than what we're getting right now. And while I do understand why they are trying to cater to new fans, I understand that. What I don't understand is why are you doing that at the expense of the original fans who helped revive the theme that nearly was on the brink of death and literally is the reason why you're still making money off of it to this day. I don't get it. That's the one thing I don't generally understand here. That's the one thing I just can't wrap my head around. Why are they trying to ruin our legacy? Why? <sighs> Sorry for that rant. I just had to get this out of my system because it's something that I've had a pin, an opinion for for quite a long time. But anyways, what do you guys think about this? Do you think that Lego is trying to erase the original fan's legacy? And the, do you think Sally's song could be the start of it? Let me know in the comments down below. But anyways, I hope you guys like this video. Give that thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel by clicking the red subscribe button. And click on the notification bell to see every video that I will upload. And I'll see all you folks in the next video. Bye-bye.